Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, um, today we're talking about something pretty cool and useful. If you have an old laptop that's been gathering dust and you're not sure what to do with it, I've got some great ideas for you. How about installing a Linux distribution that's lightweight and perfect for low-end hardware? Yeah, you heard that right. You can still enjoy performing basic tasks like web browsing, word processing, watching videos, and listening to your favorite music. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the best Linux distributions you can install on your old PC to breathe new life into it. First up, we have Bunsen Labs Linux. This is a successor to the CrunchBank project, for those who remember it. Bunsen Labs is based on the Debian Stable branch, which means it brings modern applications to your low-end system. It comes with a 32-bit version for older hardware and a standard 64-bit version for more regular setups. At its core, Bunsen Labs is powered by a pre-configured open-box window manager with a stunning tint 2-panel, pre-configured Conky, and JJEG menu. It's super fast, stable, and has a really nice look to it. Plus, there's help and support available via official forums, which is always a plus. Next, we have Bodhi Linux. This distro is all about providing a minimal base system, giving you the freedom to install your preferred software packages. It's based on Ubuntu and uses the Moksha window manager. Bodhi Linux ships with only the essential software to get you started, like a web browser, file browser, and terminal emulator. The latest release, Bodhi Linux 7, came out in August 2023. For installation, you need at least 768 MB of RAM a 1 GHz Intel AMD processor, and 10 GB of hard disk space. But of course, 1 GB of RAM is recommended for a smoother experience. Moving on, we have Trisquel Mini. This is another lightweight and stable Linux distro based on Ubuntu. It uses the LXDE environment, which is very resource-friendly compared to Genome. Out of the box, it comes with basic applications like AbbeyWord, a web browser, XBurn for CD burning, and a document scanner. The latest release is Trisquel Mini 11.0 based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. To run it, you'll need 1 GB of RAM, 15 GB of hard disk space, and a 1 GHz processor. It's perfect for giving your old PC a new lease on life. Now let's talk about Sparky Linux. Also based on Debian, Sparky is a full-featured and lightweight operating system. It comes in three editions, Game Over for gaming with the XSE desktop, multimedia for audio and video work, and Rescue for fixing broken systems. Sparky is versatile, supporting over 20 desktop environments and window managers. It's easy to install and use with its own repository of applications and plugins. Minimum requirements vary by edition, but you can get by with as little as 128 MB of RAM for the CLI edition, 256 MB for LXDE and LXQT, and 512 MB for XFC. Then we have Lubuntu, which is one of the most famous lightweight Linux distros for old PCs. It's based on Ubuntu and uses the LXD interface making it super efficient with RAM and CPU usage. Lubuntu provides essential applications like an image editor, office apps, PDF reader, and media players. The minimum requirements for Lubuntu are 512 MB of RAM, a Pentium 4 or equivalent processor, and 12 GB of hard disk space. It's a solid choice for reviving old hardware. Next on the list is Peppermint OS, known for being fast and lightweight. It's designed to be user-friendly and optimized for old and low-spec hardware. It uses the XFCE desktop environment and Thuner file manager by default. Peppermint is minimalistic, including only the essential packages required to run the system. The latest version is based on Debian 12, but there's also a version based on Dayviewin. You'll need 1 GB of RAM, a 1 GHz Intel AMD CPU, and 10 GB of hard disk space to run it. Antix Linux is another great option. It's based on Debian Stable and uses the iSwim window manager, which is very light on resources. Antix aims to provide a lean, fully functional OS that can run on low-end hardware. The latest version is Antix 23.1, released in February 2024. To run Antix, you need at least 512 MB of RAM, a 1 GHz Intel AMD CPU, and 7 GB of hard disk space. It's perfect for older systems and can even be used as a rescue CD. Puppy Linux is a classic choice for lightweight distros. Created in 2003, it's designed to be portable and can run on almost any hardware. It's super small, with a memory footprint of just 300 MB. Puppy Linux can run from RAM without installing on your hard drive, making it incredibly fast. Minimum requirements are 300 MB of RAM 
and a Pentium 900 MHz CPU. Slax is another lightweight and portable Linux OS. It's based on Debian and has a memory footprint of just 418 MB. Slax was designed to run from external storage like thumb drives and CDs. It offers an elegant GUI with basic utilities like a terminal and web browser. Minimum requirements are i686 or newer CPUs and 128 MB of RAM. It's super portable and great for carrying around in your pocket. And finally, we have Tiny Core Linux. If you thought Puppy Linux was small, Tiny Core takes it to the next level with a memory footprint of just 16 MB. Yep, you heard that right, 16 MB. The latest version is Tiny Core 15, released in February 2024. It runs entirely on RAM and uses the FLTK FLWM desktop. Minimum requirements are 64 MB of RAM and an i486 DX CPU. It's incredibly fast and perfect for even the most resource-constrained systems. So, there you have it. Most of the lightweight Linux distros we listed are based on Debian, which truly is the universal operating system. As technology progresses, more software complexity is introduced, requiring higher-end systems. But these distros are perfect for reviving your older systems. I hope this gives you some ideas about which lightweight Linux distribution to choose for your old laptop or PC. Each one serves different tastes and needs, but with one goal, to bring your old hardware back to life. So go ahead and take your pick. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. See you next time.